George Edward Demi. I joined the radio last year, September 2014, I believe, because I am into music and I like working with the radio and the recording. I'm a broadcaster and I do the little walkie talkie talk, go around town and do a bit of recording with old people, get a bit of history of them about day self. Come in half an hour early and just get what series or songs, what promo you put on. Like, and once that's set, you just wait for when the news finish then you're ready to rock and roll. And you got your morning ride program then. Yeah we write it down. We get our working sheet there and we write the song that's on the computer or on the CDs, the CD1, CD2, and if we've forgotten the song, we can just look up on our working sheet then and dance the song or what played on there. We have CDs too, and it's all like it's like a library in there, and you just you just pick. It's all with names on it, and you can just pick which music you want it, and it's all there. Like when you got all songs got meaning, and they get messages. Not only that, but even the artists they sell, they probably went through rough times and probably they're singing about they sell what they've been growing up and living with their lifestyle. On a past that the message from the people that sings the songs and probably interpret them and say a bit of my Meanings, meaning of words and tell them what the song about and probably you fellas might be the same as the, the artist itself. Yeah. yeah, I do do the weather and we do interviews and with Jody from the TAFE, even uh, some people around town, they come and we just interview them on on here live and just tell them about what's happening around town and what's okay, the coming event like months or weeks up, up ahead. I learned uh, to be a sort of broadcaster and I'm checking on quick now. Yeah. Before it was a bit touchy touchy. Yeah. Look, listen and learn but now he just straight in there and straight out. The old Daniel, he helped me out a bit and Sort of like a trainee and sort of tell me from this to there, right from wrong, wrong from right, and touch that button, this button, use the uh, phone. Malcolm too, yeah, he been here for years, eh? I just started, started about a couple of months now, but I'm getting there, no? yeah. I'm going forward now, yeah. Oh, it's good, and sort of like a, for me, it give me sort of like a, I like to listen to different, different sort of type of music in here too. And that's sort of like, a, I'm a musician too, and it's sort of like I like to get a bit of ideas. Yeah, they're good, doing a good, and it's about the town. They love the song that we play, and some of them songs, they never heard it for years, but never heard the song before, but that's all, like, like one of some songs I played, I heard it when I was growing up. And yeah, they sort of like they 24-7, Minutes, hour, and second, listening to PRK radio. The most I enjoy is working with the people right in the radio and get to know them more and happy what I'm doing and try to stick to it right through without any problems and never know. Might be a manager in the, in the, in the long run. <laughs> yeah. Working on the radio, sort of like changed my life because. I used to work at Fair Age, Night Patrol. I used to work at the school there doing music. But radio is sort of like a, that's where the music is in. You can get more uh, sort of learners. You can do courses from radio too, and they're going to send you places to learn more about not only the broadcasting, but recording stuff. Like you're going to be a guitarist, drummer, bass player, singer. You want to learn to play the banjo, harmonica, or you name it, a piano, 
it's gonna be Steve Wonder, yeah. All that or jet, you know, with a bit of everything, yeah. That's what I love about the radio. Keep you occupied mainly. Instead of just sitting home and just waiting for the night shift and Yeah, I used to do all that sort of job and drink. So I'd ride down now. Yeah, and sort of not drink on a on a work day, it's only drink on a yeah, I'm drinking this more like a weekend, so radio sort of got me there. Yeah, and I'm happy. And not only that, save money too, you know, for food. Kakai. Yeah. So, yeah. Or a woman too, you know, if you got a woman stay, yeah. Yeah, so probably friends that got down out for money, you can probably support them and they pay you, return the money back. Like helping hand, you call it like you're a good, good Samaritan, you know. In other words, yeah. So like I'm an Indian giver now and give to the poor, you know. And yeah. so helped me in a lot of ways. Before working on the radio, I'll sort of um, I'll stick to the job what I'm doing now and just just worry about the money that you're making and just worry about yourself. And you're not getting any younger any now, you're getting older and your mother and father passed away and you're gonna start living on your own life. Live your own, you know, and you'll be a man of your own, no? man of the house. And you realize this because money these days, no money talk. And you're gonna hunt, gather for your food, get cars, and do a bit of grocery shopping down at the local. Yeah. And get a bit of um, gas for your motor car. <laughs> yeah, or that no. <laughs> oh, they're all friendly, yeah, all friendly. It's all easy going. They're just helping each other and yeah, and not and just yeah, every day. Malcolm. Oh learn bit of the basic, yeah. This for the when you come in the morning and just tuned in and a bit of breakfast in the morning, you know, put something in your guts and get that bit of energy in here. And bang, Bob's your uncle and Penny Aunt, and it's right in the radio station, it's that broadcast again, it's that on there, yeah. Yeah, she's all right, she's a cleaner and sort of easy. There's, she's the cleaner and whatever mess we make, she's always cover up for us, you know. When we leave there and we're ready to go back into the, to the studio, he, he just cover up and clean the mess and don't worry about it, I'll do the job, you know. Plan B there, you know, Linda. We shall do, yeah. That's Plan C. Yeah. Helping hand too, you know. Yeah. So like a, a, bit, a, bit, a bit like Linda, you know, like. You want anything? In the, you want a coffee or anything? Want me to make? Yeah. Oh, Daniel. Oh, I rushed that money. He's a rushed that money. Yeah, he, he'll cool that fella. Yeah. He's rushed to Jamaican, man. He, he, he like a brother to me, that fella. No, he, he, he was just easy going, just straight forward and basic to basic. Yeah. Not hard, but this. It's like you're going back to school again, you know? If you're not going to have the radio in town, uh, people will be looking for work elsewhere. And you get some people, or well, most of the people in Horsley, they're all musicians, eh? And some is they all cattlemen here too and hard workers but mainly musicians and not one of them and it's a local musician and it would be totally be like lost now again radio the radio yeah the, the radio is a good place to to come here to work so who want to come and work here and do your show it's um you got friendly staff here. And it's like you're, back, you're like home in here when you work in the radio station. You just do your own sort of the basic job and that and you know the time this is like a timetable. That was like a lady, it's like you're going to school or university again. You never know I'm gonna be a rock star and I'm gonna keep keep it up and be a broadcaster and keep following my goals. And one day I'll get there. But not one day, I will be there. I wanna do a solo, solo, solo album. Just with me, just playing everything. Yeah, the guitar, drums and bass, and singing. 
That's my dream.